So here we are um, ready um, with our tabletop ready for um, deployment of our forces. Um, so both forces are laid out in three cores, one, two, three. Um, and here in the hidden boxes we have our deployment card and our ambush card. So um, I'm not going to do any ambushes in this section, but I will briefly mention it. So we've got um, four markers which are available in here, and they're all labelled one, two, three, four. Um, so we can, um, just as you would in a normal game, you can put um, your marker or your false marker onto the tabletop, and on your hidden card, you can label this card again by right we need to move it up the screen a little bit right click on it and then in the description you can then write on your marker if you have um, a unit or what unit you have there um, we put in and units that are in ambush can be taken um, away from the army and hidden in here if you want to hide them from sight um, until until they're revealed or not Um, the other card is um, for your um, army plan, your, your your plan of where you're going to deploy your cores. So um, just looking at the Swiss area, so there's there's no real advantage for terrain in the Swiss um, for their light troops. Um, it might be so they probably just deploy one of their usual heavy units in the centre, the cavalry on the right flank that has the least terrain. So this is um, core two I'm going to put on the right side. I'll just put an, an, an R the right flank on core two. Um, the large pike unit the commander in chief can be the center, and my mini command will be on the left. Shifting to the opponent side, do the same thing again. Um, put the crossbow command on the right side, cavalry on the left, and the pike in the centre. The centre for the pike to take the hill. The knights on the left. And the crossbows um, towards the wood on the right. I'm starting with the defender. The deployment started with defender, so um, the Germans will now place um, their first core on the table, which will be this one. So again, there is a template for deployment. In the bag over here, this is the deployment bag. So we will then press the place button. Here we see deployment areas, an um, area for the heavier troops, and the maximum for the light troops at the red line there and the center line. And, uh, before I do any of that, we do need to put our camps down. Which I should have happened. Um, just put the Swiss camp, um, well, in amongst all this terrain, might be an idea. And I have a regular camp for the Germans, which I'll put in there.
Okay, so it's putting in the um, the, the, the German's first core. So we put in some horse bow on that side. Some more on that side. Um, the crossbow command. Go there. And we'll put the pike with them there. So that's it basically, but um, it's not that neat. I'm just going to go to the top down view by pressing P. And I can line these up a bit better. Right up to line if I need to. Let's just use those there. Okay, so that command is ready. Now, um, I think you can notice that the um, in the top-down view, on any view, we see that our bases of the army are ever so similar to the the green um, table top surface color. And um, the other thing is they're probably identical to the, or very similar to the, their opponents as well. So um, what I found is a good idea is you can actually change the base color of the entire army. You select the whole army and right click on them. There is this color tint in here, which allows you to, um, to change the, the sort of base, base color of the whole, the whole unit. And um, it would be helpful if it was, I might just make it pure white for this one so they're, light, they're actually lighter than the backdrop. That's, that's made them a bit lighter than the, 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 the ground that they're on so you can see them properly in these top down views. We'll do the same thing. <clears throat> we'll do the same thing with the, the Swiss army but make them um, a little bit darker. I'll just move them onto the table so you can see they're, they're quite um, camouflaged. So they have this sort of slightly pink tint. I'm going to make that a bit darker. So now you can really see them, and you can see the difference between them and their opponents, so they don't, we don't get confused. So I'm now going to deploy one of the Swiss uh, units. We'll just check there. So their core three is going on their left, so this is their core three going on their left. It's just a small core of, of um medium halberdiers and some lights. So really just to deal with whatever's going into these woods as best as they can. So we'll just uh, hit P again to check that. In perspective view. German core free. Two pike in the open. Lots of crossbow and light horse bow. And then the Swiss here. Light infantry, light, light infantry firearms and um, halberdiers, medium sword, two-handed weapon. With an integrated commander, and then a small that mini unit. Here again to the top down view. Just check the deployment uh, again. Um, 
So core one, I go into the centre. So this is core one. With some light infantry firearm just to screen the pipe. The Swiss will now put their centre command down. Just call one. The commander in chief. And the final um, German command on their left flank, um, the German cavalry. Final Swiss command, the Swiss knights, the Lorena knights that come with the Swiss, um, some light um, some light crossbow troops and another another order of elite pike. Mm. So that's the um, deployment concluded. You can then recall the uh, setup equipment back to the bag, and we have a game ready, ready, ready to start. So again, we'll, we'll save that game at that point. Go to save and load, and then create. That game is ready now to, to, um, to be started.